I recently went to a talk by an investigative journalist who wrote an excellent book about a certain pharmaceutical industry. And I left the talk thinking that it may have been where Tylenol was unfairly villainized. But here's the deal, folks. Every medicine has side effects. No medicine is 100% safe. And acetaminophen is one of the safest medicines that are out there. It's safer than narcotics. It can, in some instances, be safer than NSAIDs for people who suffer from kidney disease or ulcer disease. So let's talk about some basics. I have had other videos before where I talk about Tylenol that can cause liver injury and even failure. But we often see that when patients are intentionally overdosing on the Tylenol, where it was their intention to overdose and kill themselves. But if Tylenol use is monitored by a doctor, especially by yours who's aware of your clinical picture, then it can be very safe. Aspirin used to be used for pain control. But as physicians, we no longer push aspirin for pain control because it is a blood thinner. It can cause bleeding and excessively so. Aspirin's role is more commonly in heart disease, in strokes, in patients who have abnormal heart rhythms, and in peripheral arterial disease, blockages. Then we've got our NSAIDs, which are anti-inflammatory, such as ibuprofen, Motrin, Aleve, Naproxen. That's a large group of drugs. And they're excellent for musculoskeletal pains as well, for gynecologic pains, for endometriosis cramping and the like. However, if used in excess and for too long a course at high doses can cause kidney damage, can cause ulcer disease, can worsen ulcer disease in some. These are just a handful of the side effects that are associated with these medicines. And I always tell my patients that depending on your clinical picture, I can give you this particular advice. But every person's clinical picture is unique and your doctor needs to be involved in guiding you on what medicines are safe for you. So next time someone says Tylenol is dangerous, just ask them the question, which drug isn't?